without further ado, I am so excited to announce a first time Bushwick performer tonight. This is her first time on the Bushwick stage. Yes, Abby Kay will be performing and she has been immersed in music as long as she can recall after two deca decades in the Windy City where she was exposed to the extremes of weather and musical influences. She has moved her act to Seattle. She released her fourth album, Where We're At, in March, a charming and thought-provoking mix of resplendent folk pop that touches upon the reality of what it means to be getting by together during a time of great uncertainty. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby Kay. I like what Naomi did, so I'm going to start with the microphone. So I'm not facing my back to half of the audience. Hello, my name is Abby. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, I have watched uh, it quietly, uh, the Bushwick Book Club, for about a decade. So I'm really happy to finally be up here um, participating. Um, I am a white woman, um, about 5'4", but tonight I think I'm like 5'5", five five with my elevated shoes. And um, a lot of people know me uh, because of my silver hair. So, all right, the glory. Um, a very, a very complex um, book if, for those who got through it or couldn't get through it. Um, I had a job, so I had to, to trudge, trudge on and get through the book. Um, that being said, um, I really, really appreciated the book very much. Um, even with its heaviness and, and difficult topics, I really enjoyed how, um, you know, living under a, a dictatorship um, in, in a world just filled with atrocities right in your backyard. Um, the fact that it was done with animals, you know, made it, made it stomachable, right? Because they're wild animals, and animals will be animals. Um, but that contrasted with a piece of the book, which just, it was so much of our social norm, human social norms of, of tweets and posts. And um, the contrast between the two, for me, uh, was just a reminder that this is, this is a true story. This is a historical story um, that's been told time and time and time again. And it was told yesterday. It was told 3,000 years ago. It's being told today. And it will be told again in the future. Um, not that I have a crystal ball or hope that. Um, so um, even with the heaviness of this book, uh, for me, the inspiration behind it is, is just that no matter how deep, how deep good and love and kindness can be buried, the light will always find a way to get in uh, and give you hope. So that is my song tonight. It is called Glory. for all in time for those who know they watched it fall greed wealth and guns control rise to the top tweets Hashtags and posts God, it just won't stop 
stop Don't you know If you don't speak out That tomorrow is your turn Silence will never make bad things go away No one is really safe Until we all are safe Can't discern True from false In a world haves and nots, oppression fixed, voices mute for so long that it was fought, war hero turned tyrant, civilians close their eyes, rooted pain, trapped in Will erupt in crimson butterflies Don't you know if you don't speak out That tomorrow is your turn Silence will never make bad things go away No one is really safe Cut off my long tail, turn my skin to your shoes. The promises that never came, we've nothing left to lose. Sticks and stones, they break your bones, but will not crack the light within. Respect for all. And only then those broken bones will rise again. Freedom, justice prevails. Painting a new story. Adams in the air, rearranging future.